Alfred Castillo here, and we are here at a Sprinkler Warehouse customer showing you the flower beds and beautiful potted plants all maintained using products from Sprinkler Warehouse. A few commonly asked questions are, how deep do you bury sprinkler wire? Like the pipes, you should bury the conduit at least six inches deep, or sometimes more if your municipal code requires them to be deeper. This will protect it from shovels and tillers. How do you wire a sprinkler system? The common wire will connect from the controller to one lead from each of the valve solenoids. A separate colored wire will connect from the controller to each of the remaining leads in the solenoid for each valve. What is the voltage of a sprinkler valve? Electric solenoid valves are powered by 24 VAC from the irrigation controller. Whenever the controller turns a valve on, it sends 24 VAC to the solenoid. The solenoid is the electronic portion of the valve. What does 24 VAC stand for? When you see 110 VAC on an appliance, it means 110 volts alternating current. Voltage is a measure of circuit pressure. It refers to how hard the electricity pushes through a circuit. Are sprinkler systems AC or DC? It's a common mistake to assume sprinkler valves work with DC voltage. While most valves indeed can be powered by DC voltage, they are designed to work with AC voltage in the range of 22 to 28 volts. And remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs so that your trees, lawns, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions, give us a call or chat with one of our customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more do-it-yourself videos and irrigation tips. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Alfred Castillo, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro.